Discrete math is my favorite kind of math. <laughs> my, that was quick. Were you that scared of a month's worth of bad luck? The hell is she talking about? What the hell is she talking about? <laughs> well, I'm sorry to say that there's nothing you can do to change fate. You'll just have to tough it out. Who is this woman talking about? And where should we be going right now? Is this the bar? Yes, the cafe isn't open for the day. We need some hit coins. Give me some hit. There we go. There's, there's what? One more, maybe? Let's push it. Oh, I don't want to talk to Agnes anymore. I have no idea what the hell she's talking about. I hope you don't mind if I call on you next time I come up with, against a stubborn puzzle. I don't even like you. There we go. Okay. So I don't think there should be any more than three hint coins on any given screen. So let's head this way away from Agnes. Let's talk to this man. I don't remember the Spanish version have those weird dialogues. <laughs> Lend me an ear, would you? I'd like your expert opinion on this puzzle. It won't take but a minute. Don't start the clock. Don't start the clock. Puzzle number 40. How old is dad? It's worth 30 picarets. <sighs> this is not discreet math. A father and son are chatting when the son poses this question. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? The father replies, you want to know how old your old man is, eh? Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm your age. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. Is he saying he's 33? What the hell is this nonsense? Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? The father replies, you want to know how old your old man is? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. He's not saying he's 33. How old is the father? What the hell is this problem? I'm as old as your age. Plus half of my age. Hey, Carlos, if you ever want to give a hit, now's the time. <laughs> oh, my God. Let me see. Dad, I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. What the hell does that mean? So he has to be at least 22. Duh. Plus half of my age? I don't even know what that could mean. Like in, in, in math terms. Where did all my pins go? Okay. The son is 22. The father is as old as his age, as, as as old as the son's age, plus half of his age. He's as old as 22. He's as old as the son, plus some imaginary number. The son is 22, and the father is as old as the son. Plus half of this, plus half of my age. 
Let's see. Carlos responded in the chat. I don't want to. I kind of regret asking for a hit now. I don't want. I don't want the answer. I don't want a hit just yet. I can't have. Don't retract it. But I. I, I want to. I want to look at this a little bit more. Damn, I'm 22 now. But just how old are you? You want to know how old your old man is? I'm as old as your age. Plus half of my age. You know, I think if my father were to tell me something like that, I'd probably stop talking to him. <laughs> I wouldn't talk to him anymore. The son's 22. And the dad says, I'm as old as your age. What does that mean? I'm as old as your age. Not I'm as old as you are, but I'm as old as your age. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I, I, think I can evaluate this one now. Okay, he's 66. He's six. He's 66. Is that it? The father's 66. Because if the son is 22. See, what I did was I put too many variables on this stupid note card. That's my fault. Okay. So the son is 22. The father is as old as the son plus half of his age. That's in, Yeah, that's entirely my fault. I messed that one up. So half of the father's age plus the son's age equals the father's age. If the son's 22, and we solve this for F, I'm sorry, not if we solve this for F, if we get rid of the fractions. So F equals 44 plus F. No, I feel like I still messed that up. I messed that up in the note taking. I think the answer's right, but I just messed this up in taking notes. Yeah, because you can't. I'm not supposed to. I actually was supposed to introduce a third variable, X. Okay. So then F would be zero. And then we... Uh, The 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 father's sixty six. If 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 the father is as old as his age, as the son's age, plus half of the father's age, then you would have the father's age cut in half plus the son's age. Let me try that again. Let me try taking the notes again because I feel like that's right. I just want to prove it before I put the answer in. The son says he's 22. The father says he is the son's age plus half of the father's age. We're going to define F over 2 as X. So if we take the son's age from the father, from the father's age, then we would be left with half of the father's age. We need to multiply that both sides by 2. 2F two 2F two minus 44 equals F. No, it's not 66. Because half of that would be 33. It's 44. The father is 40. Didn't I say that? No, I said he was, I said he was 33. The father's 44. Yeah, the father's 44. The father's 44. Half of his age plus the son's age equals the father's age. The father's 44. Got it. <laughs> 44. No, don't play with me, Layton. Don't play with me. Let's see. 
The face of the sun represents my mind. Exactly. <laughs> All right, scat. Have fun. Have a good one. The father's 44. Because if the dad's 22 and he's as old as the son's age plus half his age, he would be 44. There we go. Yeah. All right. Critical thinking is the key to success. That's why I didn't want to just put it in. I wanted to check it. Half the father's age plus the son's age should give you the answer, which means that the half the father's age must be equal to the son's age. Eh, that's a bad way to explain it. Oh, actually, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Because if the father's age... If, if half of the father's age is the father's age, and what you're adding to that is the son's age, then yeah, okay. So that's a good exp that's a good explanation for it. Okay. That works. Mm -hmm. I guess that was on the right track all along. Thanks for your help, boys. Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Good day. Another strange gizmo. It might be time to, uh... Put this bad boy together. Let's see. We got more gizmos. Almost there. He needs another ear. He needs a nose. He looks. He needs like his trunks. He needs legs and his front feet. All right. Almost there. Almost there. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh nope. Not talking to this man again. Not talking to this man. Goodbye, man. Goodbye. Marcus packed with stuff to buy. Is he a painter? There's two. There should be a third coin at the most. All right. I don't see it anywhere. Yeah, it might not be. All right, let's move. Let's move out. Let's move out. Uh, We can head this way. Oh, look at this man. I bet you he's got a good old puzzle for us. Oh, this is Jarvis. This is the Jarvis. Were we looking for Jarvis? Or did someone else talk about Jarvis? Let me tell you, lately St. Mysterious has become a dangerous place. Case in point, I haven't seen Ramon since yesterday. Isn't that rascal missing or something? I don't know why people are disappearing, but recently they just vanish. Poof. You can't walk the street alone. Really? Could you please elaborate a bit more on what you know of these mysterious disappearances? Are you guys ready for another puzzle? Nope. Can't say I know the particulars on the subject. Seems to me that the only folks vanishing are the ones complaining of feeling sick or tired. Ah, shucks. I, I don't really uh, remember much about it. You probably have better luck talking with Zapone about stuff like that. I hear he's in the know about pretty much everything. Zapone, you say? Where might we find this person? We talked to Zapone already. Layton, get your game together. You Hold on, Layton. You're giving me mouse puzzles. You're giving me trick-ass mouse puzzles. But you don't remember who Zapone is. Who's a waza? You mean you didn't bump into him on the way here? He's the slouchy guy with that fancy little mustache. You'll know him when you see him. Wow, it sure is hard to catch a lead on this case. The day is far from over, Luke. Let's see what else we can find out by asking around. We got so many mysteries. So many mysteries. And this man is doing mouse puzzles. Let's talk to this man. That's entirely how I play game. this game. Like this, That's how entirely how I've been playing this game so far. That's entirely how I play the Ace Attorney series. Let's talk to this man. Oh, hello there. Say, Sonny, you haven't seen a big coin around here, have you? Is he talking about the, uh, that, that coin with the imprint on it or the embellishment, whatever it was? I could have sworn that I dropped a lovely one somewhere nearby. See, I always seem to be losing things nowadays, and replacing them gets mighty expensive. I've become a, quite a penny pincher. Don't suppose you'd mind advising me on a tiny money matter, would you? That's a fancy way to ask for us to help you with a puzzle. 
Spare, pi- spare change, 10 picarets, which means this one shouldn't be too hard. The picarets depict the difficulty. A rope and coins are arranged as shown below. As you pull the ends of the rope to the left and right, the rope will draw and draw taut and push the coins to either side. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up on the top half of the rope, how many coins will you have? Okay. So we'll be pulling this end here and this end here. Basically, we just have to find, we just have to track the rope and keep track of how many coins end up on the top half. Uh, basically, that's anything that's going to end up in this in this bit. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up in the top half of the rope. Okay. Let's see. Uh, so we'll be going this way. We don't get that coin. Let's see. We don't get that one either. We don't get that coin. We get that one. That's one. We don't get that one. We don't get that one. So far at one. From what I can tell, you you basically have to figure out where it is on the bend that you're making. So, so far we're at one. We don't get that one. We don't get that one. We don't get that one. It's now on the inside. We don't get that one. We don't get that one. We do get this one. That's two. We We don't get that one. That's three. We don't get that one. We do get the one on the left of the mouse right now, but we don't get the one on the right. I'm sorry. Yeah, we get the one that's on the right side, not the one on the left. Sorry. We don't get that one on the left. Uh, off the come back about the one on the right. I, don't, I can't see it just yet. We don't get the one on... We don't get this one. So we're at two right now, right? We don't get this one. We don't get... Damn. My eyes got lost. Hey, God. Now my glasses. Let me see. That's wrong. That's two. We get that one. That's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. We get nine coins. Uh, I took a shortcut. Instead of following the line and seeing what side of the bin it's on, I just saw what all open spaces lead to this area up here, as opposed to leading to this these areas down here. So I think nine is the right answer. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That should do it. Yeah. There we go. Every puzzle has an answer. Either way would work. One way is faster than the other. And if you lo losing track 
if you're following the line, means uh, losing track when following lines means you most likely need to start over. So I just did the easy way. Yeah. All of this that's highlighted in red is what would come upwards if you pull the line. It's basically the opening. It opens upward instead of going downward. It's really some puzzle, but following every coin's path does take a bit of, uh, take quite a bit of time. Yep. Depends on how hard you pull the rope. <laughs> this video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to Alt Play as well as turn on notifications and follow at the Alt Play on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.